Hey, welcome Mr. Elko with Math Tub, and today we're going to be looking at graphing from an equation. Uh, just so we can take what our quadratic or vertex formula has and represent it here on a Cartesian plane. So I'm just going to switch to the other side here. So how we solve these is number one, we need a table of values. So that's what I put right here, and I'm going to use the x variable uh, 0, 1, 2, 3. Now what we do with this table of values is we're going to be using some substitution to replace this x value with whatever we designate as x. So how that's going to work is what we're going to do is I'm going to take my 0 here and I'm going to replace it wherever I see an x. So I'm going to throw an x right in there and I'm going to rewrite my equation here but I'm going to keep my 0 there. So 0 minus 2 is negative 2 squared and then we're going to follow order of operations. Right? So we start with our brackets, we solved in there first. Now we need to move to exponents through bed mass. Negative 2 squared, which is negative 2 times negative 2, gives us 4. And now we move on to our multiplication and division. In this case, we have multiplication, so 0 0.5 times 4. That gives us 2. And then 2 minus 3 gives us negative 1. So I'm going to take that, and I can plug it in right here. Now the good thing about the vertex formula, which is why I haven't done it first, is we already know one point on our graph. If we look here, we have our h value and we have our k value. So we can already put in whatever our vertex is. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in at 2, negative 3. So 2, negative 3, and we're going to put our vertex right there. Okay? And so now I'm going to repeat my process, but I'm going to replace it with 1. And then we're going to figure out what our new y value is. So I'm going to go over here, and so 1 minus 2 gives us negative 1. Negative 1 squared gives us 1. Half of 1 is 0 0.5. 0 0.5 minus 3 gives us negative 2.5. Okay. Now we should know what this one is, because that's going to be our vertex. But we're going to double check just to be sure. Right, so I'm going, to, again, I'm going to erase my x values, anything that I used, and I'm going to replace it with 2 this time. 2 times minus 2 is 0. 0 squared is 0. 0 times 0 0.5 is 0. 0 minus negative 3 is negative 3. So our vertex holds true, which is perfect. And now we'll repeat one more time for 3. 3 minus 2 is 1, 1 squared is 1, 0 0.5 times 1 is 0 0.5, minus 3 gives us negative 2.5. So we know our graph is looking good because we have our vertex and we can see we have the same distance in between, so which means our parabola is going to reach our vertex and then go back the opposite direction. Right? Now if we look at our equation, we can tell that it's going to open upwards because there's a positive in front here. We know it's going to be a little bit wider than a standard x squared, and we know our vertex. So now, because we have all of our points, we can start placing our, dot, our dots. So we have 0, negative 1. So 0, negative 1. We have 1, negative 2.5. So 1, negative 2.5. Our vertex, which we have, 3, negative 2.5. So 3, negative 2.5. And because we can use axis of symmetry as well, I'm just going to throw that in here because we can have the vertex here, and if we use axis of symmetry, we can replicate this one as well. So we know that it's two away from the axis, which means it's going to be two away, and our point will end up here, which is convenient for us. And now all we're going to do is connect our dots, and we will have our graph visual, visual and ready to rock and roll to, to kind of the best of our hand-drawn abilities. And I'm just going to throw some arrows here to show that the arrow the problem is going to continue on for infinity. All right. And that's a little breakdown on how we take uh, an equation and we put it onto the Cartesian plane and create that graph from it. All right. So I hope this helps and I look forward to our next video uh, in the math tub with Mr. Oko. Have a great day. Take care.